News for Women. Hello and welcome to the Feisty News for Women. I am T. Erica. I present important women's issues and fearless feminine voices disrupting our society. Today is November 5th. 2023 here is the feisty news for women it has been 29 days since the october 7th surprise attack on israel led by hamas the palestinian militant group the attack killed more than a thousand israelis and hundreds more were kidnapped and taken to gaza since then israel has struck back with more force bombing gaza relentlessly with thousands more palestinians being killed the news of the Israel-Palestine war spread across the world, igniting strong opinions and protests against the war on every continent. And some say igniting a mass hatred of Jewish people. Is anti-Semitism on the rise? Today we speak with Jewish women who are willing to share their perspectives on rising anti-Semitism. Rasha Goats is the Harvard-educated author of 42 books. Welcome to the Feisty Brasha. As a Jewish woman, what is your take on the statement that anti-Semitism is rising around the world? Sure. Um, yes, I am currently living in Israel. I'm Jewish. And um, so I'm definitely experiencing this war. Um, just this week, um, I, ex I when I was outside, there were missiles fired at us, um, and it's it's been, you know, difficult um, these past few weeks. Um, many air raid sirens, um, missiles falling on our streets, attacks coming in, um, infiltration into this little community, bombs being planted. Um, do I think that anti-Semitism is increasing the world over because of this conflict? Yes, it definitely is. Um, I graduated from Harvard University, and um, there's been tremendous anti-Semitism increasing there. Um, also, I also attended Cornell University um, for a summer session, and um, there was... Um, um, har a horrible experience with anti-Semitism at Cornell University this week as well. Um, the perpetrator was arrested, um, and it it the, his parents have described that he has mental illness, and that's a lot of what happens when there is a conflict. It becomes trending for other people to hop on board. So a person with mental illness may direct their anxieties and their own issues um, in the direction of what is trending, unfortunately. Um, he put up many posts calling Jewish people rats and pigs and describing the terrible things that he wanted to do to Jewish people, the same type of things that the Hamas terrorists did to um, innocent civilians here um, in Israel. Um, unfortunately, Hamas has incited people to be violent toward us, to consider us less than human. Um, and, and, and they feel that even civilians, the Jewish civilians are the enemy just because we live here. This is how they're incited to believe and why they would do such cruel things to innocent civilians because they believe they're the enemy too. We're occupying Israel. This is our homeland. We're not occupying it. Other people are occupying it and we're fine with other people occupying this space with us, but this is our homeland and we're not what they call colonizers. This is our land. What are we colonizing it? It's, it's, it's a lot of terminology that is used for incitement when we just want to live in peace here and have a homeland where we don't have to live under a threat of extermination as has happened to us throughout history. Thank you, Brasha, for your bold stance. We have another guest who is eager to share her sentiments. Samantha Carlin 
is the founder of Empower Global, which offers training on topics ranging from leadership to anti-Semitism for companies, universities, and nonprofits. Welcome to the Feisty, Samantha. Please tell us, have you noticed a rise in anti-Semitism as a result of the Israel-Palestine conflict? Yeah, thank you so much, Erica, for having me on the show. First of all, I really appreciate it. Um, I think with regard to anti-Semitism, there has been a huge rise in anti-Semitism. Uh, unfortunately, there seems to be a lack of understanding that I do not advise Benjamin Netanyahu on the side uh, or that <laughs> other Jews are not influential in, uh, you know, advising the uh Israeli government to bomb Gaza. And so unfortunately, what you've really seen is hatred amongst against Jews pour out. I mean, we obviously see what happened with the, the plane in Russia uh, of people from Tel Aviv and how people were literally hunting Jews uh, and trying to lynch Jews. Uh, it, it's frightening. It's extremely frightening for a lot of Jewish people. It's very reminiscent of the Second World War. Uh, and, you know, a, a lot of my friends and I uh, are fearful, are fearful of going outside if we live in big cities. Uh, I think what we really need to be careful about is not getting in this competition of victim suffering of, you know, who who had more deaths, who died more, who has suffered more, you know, the Holocaust and or the suffering of the Palestinian people. I think what's really clear to me is that civilians are suffering at the hands of uh, uh, first, first, a despicable human rights atrocities by a terrorist group, Hamas, and that civilians are suffering right now in the um, in Israel's bombing of Gaza. That being said, you know what I think the Jewish community is confused about is why there's not more blame leveled at Hamas when Hamas knew full well that the Israeli government was going to retaliate in full force against them, which includes the people of Gaza, because they hide behind the people of Gaza. They deliberately use them as human shields so that they are killed when the Israeli government is searching for Hamas. Please don't blame the Jewish people for what's happening in, in Gaza. I, I am, frankly, and many of my Jewish friends are incredibly horrified. It's it's sickening and sad to see so many women and children uh, bear the brunt as civilians for what they're you know, what Hamas started and now Israel is continuing. Uh, and it's not, you know, we don't want, we want a world that's peaceful. We want a world that's nonviolent. Everybody wants to live in safety. And the horror of these attacks that Hamas perpetrated against the Israeli people were so unsettling. And hearing things like gas the Jews, when many of our families were completely obliterated in the Holocaust, and we have literally nothing to do with Israeli government policy, uh, is deeply troubling and alienating for us. Thank you, Samantha, for sharing your insight. For the record, I do not personally know of anyone who has expressed hatred for Jewish people in any way. While many people disagree with Israel's course of action, the intelligent women I encounter are wise enough to separate the decision of one leader from the collective desire of the Jewish community. We don't hate Jewish people. We hate the killing of innocent people during this war and we want it to stop. Well, thank you for watching the Feisty News for Women. I am T. Erica. Remember, be feisty. Women must be seen and heard. Welcome to the Feisty News for Women. <laughs>